Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Brotato the Horde Survival Action Roguelike Hits Up Up mod though because we're going to be checking out the Mash Tato mod here once again. Adds a bunch of characters games, some brand new items and weapons as well. Today we're going to be checking out the Peasant who starts with a Peasant Garb which is a little bit of free harvesting every single wave. One melee damage for every 20 harvesting, one harvesting for every 3% damage. Harvesting modifications up by 25% for harvesting for every tier 1 weapon, but minus 15% damage for every tier 4 weapon you have. Minus 5 range damage, minus 20 engineering, just because why not? More or less, this seems like a nice, very strong character. We're going to be going in with, I think, the Pitchfork, because it just seems like a much better version of uh, a harvesting scaling weapon it's just like it scales better and is faster and has a better passive so that's what we're going to be doing here today but yeah i mean just grabbing a bunch of early tier one pitchforks is going to be kind of crazy it's going to be one of those days that i do imagine will just scale through the roof by the end of the run but we shall see because I feel like Pitchfork is a super strong weapon. This is a super strong passive. Peasant's Garb is a strong item. We just got so much that is strong. Plant is something. I mean, I am going to roll for our... Uh, ooh, take both of those. Or do we... Maybe we wait for like... um. I guess it would be... Fertilizer? I don't know if I care. I'll grab the eye patch, but let's roll for our early pitchforks. Getting our early commons is going to be a good deal. 25 harvesting already. Don't mind if I do. But yeah, I mean, the second they're not tier ones, then I guess we are going to be losing that harvesting. But by the time you get to six weapons, they'll already have done their uh, permanent damage to the run a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because we have that extra scaling. You know, the extra... It's up to 8% right now already. It's going to get even higher. Maybe we'll get ourselves like a... I'll grab a little bit of luck. Come on now. Yeah, harvesting our luck. Maybe we'll get ourselves like a, a crown or whatever as well. But we're going to try and go for some early... Focus on Pitchfork... Yeah, that's four harvest things, so yeah, we guess we go for that one. We lock this. Next wave, we'll grab our passive items that we have locked. We'll get our final pitchfork, and we're already going to be, like, noticeably above 50 harvesting, <laughs> which is so good. But, like, the fact that we can focus on percentage damage a little bit as well is such, like, a fun, freeing thing for a character that's already probably going to be really, really good. So, hey... I think it's going to be a cooldown day. That's my... That's my guess. 130 bucks already for melee damage. We sure could. Do I care? No. See, 8% damage. This is also... 2 plus harvesting. 10% attack speed. Sure. Oh, this is a full buy. If I can. Fertilizer's worth it, right? Because it's kind of like a half melee down. It's worth it. It's worth it. And we also have the extra harvesting modification. So yeah, no, it's like a half... Half down. <laughs> Eight harvesting on wave four is crazy, man. If we can get a bunch of luck and try and find like some early tractor business or... Obviously, Crown would ruin this run in the best way possible. Then, baby, we got a stew going. The question is if I combine my weapons. It's going to be a little bit weird, I guess. We could do it kind of in a slow way where we upgrade one weapon a lot. Oh, oh I thought I would have got that in time. That's my first instinct on that one. Sure, it's an epic. Yeah, so the harvesting does indeed go down. Unsurprising. But harvesting increases by an additional 
makes it so we should probably combine anyways. Does this go up to three? No. Okay. All right. We should have gotten the coupon first. I'm aware, but like, I just wanted to do the science that way. Okay. So never mind. I think we, I think we pivot. I think we pivot into uh, getting all. I guessed all epics. So, huh. I guess that's a notable downside of the character, the fact that we can't pivot it into the legendary, which might go up to 3%. Because the second we do that, we lose 15% damage per legendary. It's interesting that it's not even just like a you can't do it. Like a wildling or whatever. Uh, sure. What's the crit on this? Two point... What? Higher than normal. Don't mind if I do. So yeah, we'll go up to... We'll go up to blues. I think it makes sense. We lose four, but we gain scaling. Ends up probably being really good. Definitely get the tentacle... Yeah, so that's a 2%. 14% increase at the end of each wave. Yeah, I mean... But here's the thing. The fun thing about getting four harvesting for every tier one. We got that benefit. We got a little bit of it. All of the harvesting that we gained because we had that harvesting. All the money that we gained because we had that harvesting. All of that stuff still was a benefit. So, pivoting out into all blues or potentially, potentially all purples gonna be pretty good we just need to remember not to get legendaries which i think is gonna be, I think it's gonna be completely fine i think that'll be a-okay it's gonna be a self-control test more than it's gonna be a difficulty test sure percent damage is double good I think plants is good. Bag. I mean, we're going to be getting a lot of luck, so... Sure. We get tree for the same reason. 58 damage up to 71 damage. And 157 harvesting on wave 7. Pretty good. I mean, I think I have had higher for what it's worth, but... It's still very, very nice. If we can find a crown sooner than later, because... This character is obviously going to be harvesting tagged. We can rip things in half. Mm -hmm. More than we already are, I guess. Good smacking. But yeah, the fact that it also has an above average crit ratio is... I mean, we're just... We're feasting today, basically. Zoop. Okay. Sure. Eh. I'm gonna get the seven crit. Pitch for good. Another bag, I suppose. Clover, I'm gonna take it as well. That's not bad, I'm just... I'm greeting here. Uh, this is so strange to do it that way, but I kind of just want to get that extra 1%. I don't know that it really, I don't know if that's a very cost effective thing, but I just, it's what I want to do. Sunglass is probably good considering we have a uh, tentacle. It's our main, main source of regen, I guess right now, I suppose. With only three HP regen, negative, uh, we got negative lifesteal, all that jazz. My biggest surprise is that this character does not have a, um, uh, any material downgrade penalty to him. None. That's the most surprising thing of all. It would also be fitting with them being, you know, a peasant and all, like, they get less funds to work with, seems relatively appropriate and they get so much value from said harvest thing and everything and just we got a lot 
We have free scaled already. And it's just gonna get better. Uh, I could, I don't wanna. Harvesting shirt. I'll take the percentage damage. Peasant's garb, obviously good. Sunglasses. Silver bullet is really good, but... I do kind of want to force roll. Let's get some luck. I want to force roll into like a crown or tractor. We are obviously harvesting tagged. So if we get our luck high enough, we're at 39 luck. I feel like 39 luck around wave 10, we might be able to just literally spam some rolls and kind of get where we need to go. Get some dangerous bunnies. We're going to want to reroll a lot. Looking for very specific items. It's going to be another one of those days, isn't it? Where I'm just like, I'm sitting there. We have a busted run and I can't complain that I didn't get a tractor or crown. But it's just like, boy, that was the, uh, that would have been the highlight of the run. <laughs> it's going to be one of those. Oh, we're feasting now. 243. Just kind of stand right in the middle and be fine. Alright, take a little bit more harvest thing. I'll take a, I'll grab the luck there. We'll probably find another common. Alright, we are done. Community support is good. I just am gonna... I'm gonna tunnel vision. Blood donation is good and all. Fine. It's probably one of the few things that could kill me. But I don't think it will. But yeah. I mean, we got got to work on our uh, HP regen and everything as well. But yeah, 40 extra harvesting. It's enough to jumpstart a big deal over the course of the run. I'll tell you what. Here's the real thing, though. It's enough to keep things interesting. Now I got to actually worry about dying a little bit more. Not much. Not much, but a little bit. Okay. Okay. But yeah, we got the tentacle being... We just got one or two. We got two. Two and how much crit? 33. It's doing a pretty good job then, considering. Because we do know that our HP regen is not enough to handle... Ooh, the one damage per second. It's not better than that. Not right now, because we do know that we're going to be looking for more. More crit sounds good. More damage sounds great. More harvest, because why not? More harvest, because why not? Let's go! Even stupider! 25%! It's so beautiful. Membership card could honestly be worth it, but, like, we know what our goal is right now. It's to get the funny big number. Like, that's the goal. That's our new goal. We gotta make sure we don't die here, but, like, look at our damage. Look at our damage. Does it look like... <laughs> why, is... why do we get to do this much damage, too, you know? Like, why do we get to also do this much damage? It's so silly, man. I'm really happy we went for the blood bag now due to the fact that just starting at that point of 40 is going to give us a big leg up with making our final number truly dumb. 25% increase every wave for the rest of the run is absurd. 
Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's rip on through. Rip on through. No. We do like that extra um what percent? It is harvesting as well. A little bit weird, but yeah. <laughs> Shackles, no thanks. Maybe the beard, no thanks. Broken mirror is fine. I just don't really. Did I take two baits there? I think I took two baits. 670? 670? Don't mind if I do. Very shortly, we're going to be at a thousand. <laughs> Very shortly. It's going to get to the point where, like, even finding a tractor is going to be a drop in the bucket eventually. If I find a tractor early, like, now-ish, it'll be noteworthy. And this is, again, like, the funny thing... We're one-shotting everything anyways. The only thing that just, like, only having Harvest Thing would do, it would make us one-shot even better. Maybe we one-shot a boss by the end of this. That's my new goal. That's my new goal. It may seem unrealistic. I don't think it's that unrealistic. If we keep taking those, it will be. We'll get the membership card sooner than... Am I tagged for crit? On purpose or on accident? Like, for real? Training dummy could be good. I just also don't really care. Oh, that's right. I kind of felt that was going to come my way, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Alienize something. There's a tractor. I'd say it's early enough to still care. But yeah, we're at 948 <laughs> already. After this, we have entered the thousands. But yeah, bloody hand taking two damage per second seems concerning. Considering especially we uh, tanked a lot of our armor there. And we don't really attack that fast. We have now entered the part of the run where uh, community support would have been nice, but I don't regret not going for it. Skipping community support got us to the point where we have this stupid amount of harvest thing and we got our crown. Who knows if we would have had enough money to get there, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta do some dumb stuff to give yourself a chance to get some good stuff. Sometimes, you know? You just gotta be bold. And sometimes being bold is being stupid. I can afford that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What's 40 more harvesting at this point? What is 40 more harvesting at this point, really? Shouldn't, I shouldn't do it. We're, we're going for the dumb. I'm not thinking another one. Okay. All right. I'm drawing the line. I'm drawing the line. That was a, No, we're not doing another one. Fairy rips everything wide open there. White flag. I know it's harvesting, but it's also like uh, whatever. Enemies dodge. Yeah, we're, we're already getting to the point where this stuff is absurd. I'll get Chameleon. We can stand st still kill, maybe. So dodge standing still. 
And, okay. He died that fast, and a reminder that our damage is going to go up exponentially. Exponentially, mind you. Because our core damage is tied to Harvesting, a stat that is increasing by 25% every wave until the end of the game. Could we one-shot the final bosses? I'm not sure, but if there was a chance to do it, it would be today. We just kind of need to get, like, some attack speed. Need is a strong word, but... I didn't say it. <laughs> oh, boy. That lovely freaking tentacle action. Thank you. 20% dodge. Uh, that's worth, for sure. Pick up range? Sure, whatever. Logbook? Sure. Percent damage, good. Uh, we are dodge capped. Cyber ball is a thing. We could go for like a luck damage thing, but I also just don't really care. I will take a glass cannon, sure. I will take another glass cannon, sure. No experience gain down. Harvest thing. Not gonna really matter anymore. Piggy bank is a thing. I am aware. I just don't. I just don't care. All right. Is this already? Uh, yeah, doing more than enough. One thousand seven hundred harvesting, critting for thirteen sixty four. And we are on wave 15. This is the perfect character for the endless mode. Read the second part. Then decreases by 20% instead after wave 20. So no, it's not the perfect character for endless mode. Whoop. Absolutely dumb. Absolutely dumb. So if we, like, we kind of want to dodge a bunch of hits, too, anyways, right? Dodging gives us harvesting. Okay. But again, we have to take a moment to be truthful about some stuff, and that is that if I have 10 more dodge, what's it going to change? Not much of anything. It would maybe be something if I could dodge my, um, do I want this? I guess why not. For the price of free, I suppose. <laughs> don't need, it. Don't need a, that much harvesting anymore. Do not take it. It's a trap. Dodge cap increased. Yeah, that's worth. Good, good. Could have taken Goat Skull, I guess. But we're not even crit capped anymore. Or maybe we never were. Tractor, I guess. I guess. We just kind of want a lot of percentage damage. I'll do that. We, we can take a little bit more. A little bit more dodge now. 20% experience gain, 10% extra damage against. Yeah, I guess. Percentage damage against uh, or damage against bosses and elites sounds good. Two luck for every one percent crit you have. Oh god, why did I take that? That's even more dodge down. Oh no, we're at fifty-five dodge. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Yeah, one shotting's not looking like it's gonna be in the cards, but. It is going to be, like, blink of an eye shotting. They're not going to be a problem for us. Just more than anything, percentage damage, percentage damage, percentage damage. 
if we want to one shot it's the only thing that can make any kind of a difference at this point everything else is like why even why even think about it the question always comes when you're just like i mean do i really want to re-roll like re-roll 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 for it it feels bad to do But it is just like it's the only thing that's gonna matter. I will take that because that sounds funny to have that much luck. I will take a tentacle. Percent damage, percent damage. Take my dodge up. I mean Gives us the free reroll, you know? Percent damage. These rerolls are getting kind of expensive. Wisdom, I guess I could, like, stall and then come in and go for a big kaboom, but that just sounds meh. Hmm. Adrenaline's good enough. That's very good. Okay, 3,200. It's a good amount of damage. 3,492. We can, we can do a little bit of that. I think that's a fine amount. <laughs> fine amount there. Wow. Thank you. We definitely, guys, I think we might be able to do a standstill kill build here. Maybe, possibly. If we if we try really hard. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the free win here. I'm not feeling well so today, so honestly, I'm not against this. I'm not against a free win today. We're also, like, we're getting a good amount of money from the waves, too. We have, like, a lot of extra enemies showing up. I could, I just also don't... <laughs> I also don't care. Aye, aye, aye. Percentage damage. It's worth these rolls, I would say. Gonna fix that penalty that we had. Percentage damage. Membership card. A couple free rerolls. At this point is it, it's not gonna really make that much of a difference, anyways. Tunnel vision. If it says percentage damage up, we take it. Anvil is uh, bad for us, actually, in a weird way. Percentage damage up, I take it. Okay, if it says percentage damage up and doesn't also say percentage damage down. I don't want to have to just sit there and wait. Sure. Boulder hat was, you know, tempting. Lure is free damage. What do we have for crit now? Still at 101. Good. Good. I mean, there's an argument for that. It's just also like, I don't know how we would go about killing the final boss by like, get, I don't know, we get hit by all of the other things. It'd be, it'd be awkward. There's a chance. You're saying there's a chance. I too shot that guy. I too shot that guy. You're saying there's a chance. What was that right there that just wasn't a crit? Oh, that was the luck damage. Our baby elephant is doing 280 damage. How? I have 291 luck. That's right, because of all my crit. Oh, my lord. 
What a run. What a dumb, 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 dumb run. Just want lots of, lots of percentage damage and that's it. Again, only meaningful thing at this point. Any harvesting item that we would even take right now, it's just not going to make a noticeable difference to our end product. Because of just the sheer percentages and numbers that we're dealing with at this point. The exponential scaling. Flat multipliers at this point are nothing. Yeah, literally if it's not... Okay. Percentage damage up or something that'll help me find more percentage damage up. I'm going to say no. Okay. Yeah, too long. There we go. This is probably more where it's worth it to spend our money, right? I'm going to say yes. Whether or not I believe it or not, I don't entirely know. But I'm going to say it's probably where it's worth spending our money. I know what I did. Keep it in mind. I know what I did. Keep in mind, I have one goal. It is to kill the final boss in one hit. Okay? So it does not matter. Okay. Okay. Oh, do we get do we get that stupid with it? Do we go that stupid with it? I mean, we have wave 19. I mean, in for a penny, in for a pound. We have one goal. Our damage is going to get absolutely tanked as the wave goes on. Like, we're going to have a hard time on this wave, which is really funny. But we're doing that so that the final boss can die in one hit. Okay? We have one goal, and it's disgusting. Nothing else matters. Experience gain also helps. I'm actually going to buy Tardigrade to help keep my percentage damage up a little bit for that phase. I think that'll be something, I guess, to think about. Missile good. I will. I don't care. <laughs> I was going to say I'll take technical, but I don't care. So yeah, we are going to be losing damage every time we take a hit. It is going to be crazy to see how much damage we lose per second. And it'll be even funnier to see how long it takes before I don't kill something in one hit, if ever. This is kind of fun. Look at that. 8,888. Eight, I mean. Yeah. This is, kind of, this is actually kind of fun. It's going to take a little bit before before 40% damage isn't worth it, though. You have to be like, okay, how many hits is it going to take before that 40% isn't worth it anymore? We know, or 20%. It's 2% per hit, 2% per hit, 20%, meaning 10 hits, meaning 10 seconds. So for us, it's actually going to be 11 seconds. We are going to kill the boss within 11 seconds. Therefore, for my plan, it is not suboptimal. It's suboptimal for this wave, but boy, does it look like it mattered. No, no, no. I think it is worth it. Feels painful. I mean, these rolls aren't that bad. Expensive, you know? Comparing them to, like, the items? Oh, boy. It's starting to... When, it, when you do it like that, it starts to get really bad. Let's get some speed up. I mean, Circle of Power also kind of, like, solves the problem a little bit. Thank you. I think the game has started to pick up on what I want. It's 
little bit of percentage damage in there. Thank you, bait, I guess. Getting to the end here. Percentage. Uh, speed and dodge is... Like, speed is interesting. Fine, whatever. <laughs> speed is interesting due to the fact that we can just get ourselves to the boss quicker. Where are you? Oh, it's not one shot. It's not one shot, but it's pretty close. It's a two-shot boss. That is so dumb. We have 10,000 harvesting. 10,000 harvesting. I think the run's pretty good. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Brotato. <laughs> if you'd be sad to see the series go, you gotta let me know in the form of a comment down below. Check out the mashed potato mod on the Steam Workshop if you want to have a nice broken run like this. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.